Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account and that is right. The new Dimensional Hero is up. We have the new Beast that is up. Robin Hood the Heroic Bandit is available free for three days. Now overall guys, I would wait to see exactly where he's used. Save the trial version just a little bit unless you're trying to make some early progression on an account. But overall, I wanna see his viability within the Cursed Realm and the Nightmare Corridor, which again, we haven't really seen yet as the Energy Regeneration Hero. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pick him up, we're gonna build him. Now I feel like in the Treasure Scramble, specifically the PvP aspect that he's bringing, is going to be very solid, which is the reason why a lot of players are going to build him. Now, in addition, guys, we do have the Radish. If you've seen a little bit earlier, we took the Radish up to level 15 at this point. So we got a lot of free baits out of here, which I'm not too, um, not too sad about. Super excited to see them. And then, of course, the Dimensional Hero right here, Robin Hood is available, guys. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna link them. And with that being said, there we go, we have Robin. But ultimately, you wanna link it with a hero that you're not using that has stars on it. That's really the big thing, guys. And I'll show you kind of what I mean by that because when the Dimensional Heroes, and if it is your first Dimensional Hero that you've gotten, when they go over here, they have to be linked to a hero and they will mirror the stars that other heroes have. So again, you wanna make sure this is a hero that you're linking that you really don't use very often, even getting a little bit further down here. Let's say if you have a, a, a really any of these guys, when you start getting down this far, when you look at, you know, Salakai, when you look at Shimira, when you look at Pippa, um, you wanna make sure again that some of the heroes in here that you're linking to, if you do not have a dimensional key, because this is going to actually give us Robin at five stars. Again, as we continue to build him out, we get him at five stars. You, he will get whatever star rating that you do link him to. Now again, based on that, we have him built up. So looking at our dimensionals, and it's really time for a dimensional tower, guys. We've said this for quite a while, but overall, we need a tower. We need a tower, guys. You can see how many we have here, including the only pay to win one that we had was Ryukyo. So we're gonna build out Robin. I have a little bit of gear for him. I've actually been uh, farming it up a little bit, but looking at the signature item, every one coin robbed the rich distrib um, distributed to an ally hero, it is going to increase our magical pierce and our physical pierce. Now this is the buffing aspect that he brings, guys. This is why, again, I feel like there's gonna be game modes where he's kind of being used because of this buff. Now, Leica kind of does the same thing with some of the SP effect that she has when they build them up. But looking at here, I don't know how effective the 30 is gonna be. Now, now the, the plus 10 and the plus 20 absolutely is going to be well worth it. So after producing 40 coins, Robin Hood's crossbow is enchanted with each crossbow hit, reducing the enemy's energy by 40 and converting it into two coins. The two coins, of course, are going to yield us additional energy, which I feel like, again, the PvP aspect and why I'm building this hero is going to be probably one of the big things. Now, buy those emblems of space, guys. They are still a priority out of the out of the um, labyrinth, but I'm going to go ahead, get a little bit more haste up there, and I'm going to take him to building him out essentially to the 30. And again, I'm doing this for the PvP aspect. If you're not a big PvP um, player, a lot of players will just keep him essentially at the plus 10. Um, some will essentially take him to the plus 20 because it is really cheap. But taking him further than that, guys, if you're spending it and going to the plus 30, that, in my opinion, is really the PvP aspect. Because, of course, with this hero, he's not really doing much damage. I don't know how that's going to look a little bit different if we're going to see some of the changes in there. And I thought I did have some gear in here. I'd been just kind of purchasing some of the dimensional gear, which there we go, guys, we do have two of those. Again, based on not having the tier on there, this is what I've been saving my resources for. I don't know how many of these we have. So we don't have a chest for them yet, but it just takes time. So the dimensional gear does come out of the shop, um, just like the rest of the gear. I don't know, again, if we have any other pieces in here. But we have the weapon. The weapons and the boots are probably the two most important when you're building out these heroes. And I don't know, no, we might. We might've used them for another hero. So let's see guys in the dimensional shop if we have anything available in here within the guild store for him specifically. So nope, we have no dimensional gear. And the dimensional gear will actually show up right in the bottom. You can see guys, we have a ton of coins literally sitting here um, waiting on the build, waiting to build them a little bit higher. Now, in addition, I did put him in the Oak Inn. We have 51,000 um, coin or po coins right there, which means we're gonna drop him in here. We're gonna have the ability to just build out his room. I'm gonna use a couple diamonds because I'm probably not gonna come back for it or I will just forget 
to build the rest of his room, but managing, he is going in this last tower with the rest of our dimensional heroes. There he is, guys, right on top of Amelia. But that moves him into the third tower. And again, looking here at the optimization or the recommended, um, I put all of my heroes in the bottom. Now, the reason I put them in the bottom is because it doesn't make a big difference based on the furniture that we have on where exactly he's gonna fit or where he is because we're only getting the gear for him. So there he is, guys. We have him up and he is at zero furniture. Um, Jerome, we are still building. Now, Jerome, of course, being a big buffer for Belinda, which is right above him, the awakened version of Belinda. Ivan still needs furniture as well. Have a little bit of engraving on there. So we still do have a lot of heroes to pick up and a lot of heroes to continue build out this furniture, guys. And then, of course, the beast, we have the exact same. There's another piece for Belinda right there and a piece for Naruko. Again, another hero we need to build out, another hero that does prioritize building out furniture. I'm hoping here we can get one or two more guys, and there is a piece for Robin. One red card on the table. But building these heroes out, we've accumulated a lot of poke coins. We actually did get a considerable amount of poke coins in there. There's another piece for Liberta. That takes them to, I believe, 14 and 14 again, just really prioritizing building out those heroes much higher. There is Ivan. That is what we are looking for, guys. That is that three of nine for Ivan. Again, the effectiveness of him going up much higher. And then we have Liberta right there. And then Naruko, we need one more, guys. Hopefully, Tiny Tank, we can pull one more piece of furniture and then just continue stacking everything that we get. There's another piece for Ivan. I will absolutely take that as we slowly move him to that nine of nine furniture. Another mythic piece right there, which gives us Rowan, and I believe that will max out my boy Rowan too. I think that finally takes Rowan to that nine of nine. So looking here again, 12, 12, Rowan is going to drop out because he is already at that nine of nine. And then again, we're going through a bunch of different heroes. Um, we had Athalia in here. I'm actually gonna drop the awakened version of Athalia back in here to continue 12, 12, and 13. Now, when it comes to furniture, guys, the, the min-maxing like we are now, so actually building these heroes past that nine of nine furniture to strengthen the furniture in here, not recommended unless, and really specifically unless, you are focusing on different aspects of AFK Arena, um, including really going in here and having the ability because strengthening the furniture, of course, gives us haste, but having the ability to maximize the damage that we're doing in multiple game modes. And that, again, that is the reason why we're building these heroes out much further is we're looking to maximize the haste in here, maximizing the heroes and the hero builds that we have specifically in here. Same exact thing with Liberto. We have one, one, one right there. This is the one that we're looking to build out and continue to build out that furniture. Now looking here, um, I'm gonna put up one on Naruko just because I wanna get that nine of nine. That way we can actually drop Naruko out of there as well. Again, so many of these heroes guys are just getting maxed out, but that is awesome to be able to drop that hero out. And then I'm gonna do the same and I'm kind of thinking um, Lucila needs furniture really bad. Um, Ivan could definitely use that nine of nine furniture, but I'm gonna go in here I'm gonna drop this one on Lucila again, just so we can get a little bit closer and a little bit closer for the stat wise. So actually adding a li little bit more stats on there, recycle everything that we're not using, but boom, there goes the nine of nine with Naruko. Means that we can drop Naruko out of there. And I am thinking at this point, probably dropping in Laika, which is kind of crazy guys, but Laika, and then we'll drop Ivan back in there. My OCD is just literally putting these in order. That way we can have them kind of built out on the way that we're building them. There we go. So Jerome still getting furniture, which I believe we already do have a couple pieces of furniture for Jerome. Thisu we're still building out just for the simple fact that for Maulers, we need Thisu built out a little bit higher um, just because of the damage dealing aspect. And then of course we got one there for Robin all optimized at this point. Let's reset or recycle what we don't have, giving us one more and one more closer to having our next mythic card right out there, guys. So we are getting closer. Recommended, it looks like we have another recommended. Boom, Naruko just gets the furniture. And I decided to go against and not actually um, strip everybody of the mythic furniture. And again, that is because of the towers. 
That, that is really the, the big, big thing. Why I didn't want to do it, guys. And that takes us to 795. We are close. Still waiting to see if uh, Shamira is going to be in the cards, guys. And we're also building out Liberta. So we have been building out Liberta. Um, I believe the Desired Hero Summons, we have a couple more in here. We can finish out Jerome, which would be nice. So we have Jerome already right there. We have two copies right there. I believe that is it. So we need two more copies of Jerome, which shouldn't be incredibly difficult to do. We do have a couple summons in here. There we go. We have an Elite, which is Anasta. Okay, I'll take that one. That's just going to be recycled. And of course, here, if we could pull some of our Awakened Heroes, guys, would be phenomenal. But unfortunately, that is not the case. So we need two copies of Jerome. And then we will take him up to Ascended, guys. That's going to be awesome because then we can put furniture on there. There is one. Come on, don't use the last time it's coming, this one. No, it did not. That's okay. There we go, guys. And it's a double, of course, which we could use one more copy of him. Um, I mean, just for the simple fact that if we want to engraving, which I think the 30 engraving we might actually do for him, that is going to take him and build him up a little bit further. There is Ascended, which means we can drop him in the Oak Inn. And of course, he's already in the Light Bear Tower, guys. We have some furniture for him. There we go. He is invited. Going to make a big difference when we have to use him. Again, recommended. We'll go down like that. Optimize. That gives him. He already has one of nine. Boom. And there he is in the Oak Inn, guys. That's awesome. That's awesome. We just need more, more furniture. We need more Poke Coins, guys. It never ends. And even then, what are we at? 900, I think I've seen. 901, so we have 901 pieces of mythic furniture, which is kind of insane to think, but that also gives us right there our, our copy of Jerome. Then again, furniture, we're getting there. The Awakened Leica, Lucila, Liberta, the exact same guys, Liberta. I'm actually gonna do a couple more summons. Maybe, fingers crossed, we can get it built out a little bit further. A couple more diamonds, then of course the weekly is done as well giving us some more scrolls, some more chests. And we already do have Robin Hood. That's awesome. That is awesome. Again, we're going to have to see exactly where the utility for him comes in. But again, I wonder if we could pull one more. Just because that would be the engraving aspect in there. Come on, I know we just got a double. I know we don't have enough to save. Two more pulls in here. I'm wondering, we have seven scrolls just to get these summons out of the way. See, because he is in the wish list, guys. All of this. There we go. There's an elite. It is a goalless. So unfortunately, we did not get him, but we got two more tries. There we go. Could it be? It is an Akira. So unfortunately, nothing in there either, guys. 27 cards, that's what we're using. Again, we're trying to build out Lucila, um, or excuse me, Liberta, getting a couple more copies in here. And nothing in there. I'm gonna go for the single cards too. All of our Temple of Time, we're just saving those. I believe we're around 100 at this point. Um, as we continue to go through here and build these out, again, waiting to see if it is going to be that awakened version of Shamira, guys. 118 cards, again, just saving those. I, I wanna see... If it is going to be that awakened version of Shamira, these continue to just recycle. We recycle so many heroes in here, guys. It is kind of crazy. Elder Tree, absolutely getting there. Then, of course, the Beast Ground. We have 1,300 summons. We got the um, Radish today. So let's see if we can pull some more copies. There's the Owl. I think we need two more Owls. I think we need two Owls, and then we will actually be built out to 18 on our second beast. And there's the winged lion again. And literally, we're just going to go straight down the line, guys, and we're going to build all of these out that we need. And there's Talus Main. But we have two. I think that might be the two that we need. Almost have three. So let's see what we got what three right there now these we have two of five but we only need this one two of four so let's build out the owl with these two guys 
since we already have the radish, there is the owl. So that takes the owl and look at the baby owl. Boom, there we go. Into a big owl, finally getting to the big owl, finally getting to 18. Now that means of course that the owl is going to be dropped out. And I'm gonna put the rock lizard, I'm gonna go with the rock lizard right now. Might not be the best choice, but I still do like the rock lizard. But that is two. Now again, we have everyone at 15. And then here we do have what, three of four, so almost built up there. And then Talisman the same, we have two of four. We're gonna continue building them. That's already two guys. Again, as we get closer, we got 118. Now we have two 18s. It's just gonna go on, so on and so forth. Might take a couple more months before we get these all up to 18 to actually move into there. But it is just gonna be the progression, guys. Like we always talk about, it is just the consistent progression that we're making. Rome is going to be the next avatar that's in here. You know what? I'm gonna give him some water. I'm gonna give him some water because that does look really, really cool for the build. Um, as our most recent hero, gonna have to see exactly who comes next. And look at that. that. That is the one hero we got, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and pop open these chests, see what we got in these. Again, the essence, we are almost 800 levels in. The beast food we got out of here, I get one more card, a red chest, and then of course we get some cores and we get some shards. This is the everyday, guys. This is the everyday of building out these heroes. Two more stones, boom, double V-Den. Then of course, recycled right here. Gonna have to wait to get some more furniture when it comes to when it comes to Robin Hood and see exactly where we're gonna build him out to. But it's very cool that we got him and he's already at a plus 30, which I'm happy about. Um, even looking at his gear, we can enchant this all the way up. We have resources pretty much forever, especially when it comes to the stones, because we have four there, one there, 18 tier three stones, five tier four stones, and there we go. Maximize the damage, the, the utility that we have within there, and of course, his specific gear. Resonate all, we're gonna have to build him out his gear. And of course, I don't think he has any preferences at all, but knowing that he's back line, guys, it is gonna be the longbow, in my opinion. Um, dual divinity, maybe, possibly, but overall, just because of the attack and the accuracy, or if it's gonna be the survivability aspect of doing like the eye or something of that nature, we're gonna have to wait and see what exactly is gonna come. And of course, having it built out, I'm gonna wait on the engraving, because again, this 30, um, again, the PVP aspect, that, that's where I'm kind of on the fence with um, when it comes to that PVP aspect. And most of the heroes I built out for the treasure scramble, which we know right now, you can go ahead and pick the way that you're going. Um, this is gonna be my first formation. And again, we know within the snow, it's, it's gonna be interesting to see with the new hero dropping today, and that already being open, um, exactly where we're gonna use them. It's gonna be interesting to see. But all right, guys, so that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.